Hello, welcome to business. Some good news as we enter into the weekend. The amount of money you set aside for your fuel purchase should drop significantly next week. This is because of a reduction of petroleum prices at the pumps expected this weekend. Based on our calculation, petrol should go down by almost 5% per litre, while diesel should be reduced by 5.37%. From the above numbers, a gallon of petrol or diesel would go for 21 Ghana cities, 24 pesos, representing a reduction of 1 city, 2 pesos from the previous price. Our check shows that the expected reduction would be influenced by the fairly stable city and some excess supply of crude oil on the international market, which is impacting on prices. So based on these new values, if you were spending about 112 Ghana cities, 5 pesos for the 5 working days, you would have made a savings of six Ghana cities with your new budget of 106 Ghana cities, two pesos. However, this is just our prediction, and it is not clear for now whether the over 100 oil marketing companies will comply with this projection. Or looking at the rising cost of the operations, it will just be a slight reduction come next week when you drive to the various service stations in town. Now, the Ghana Stock Exchange boss, Kofi Amwa, says he doubts ADB would delist from the local boss. Joy Business on Thursday reported that new management of the bank is considering the listing as part of moves of restructuring the bank. Mr. Yamwa does not think it would happen. Essentially, I've been privy to conversations as far as the capital requirements are concerned, which I believe that before 31st December 2018, they will be able to meet that deadline. And I also privy to conversations in that regard that the company will continue to be a listed company. And so I, I have no doubt that uh, uh, the other cases, the, the, otherwise is the scenario. Okay. They haven't communicated that they will be no, listed? No, no, no. You don't, you don't have I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't believe uh, uh, what you're telling me could be the, the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But when it happens, what do you think will be there? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that when it happens. Because, like I'm saying, I was privy to conversations, and in that conversations, they did indicate that the company will continue to be listed. Mm -hmm. But would this send a, a negative signal to investors out there? Well, the process, the process for that involved shareholders and shareholders for such an entity is not only to all those who applied for and also process as far as the market is concerned okay. but i hope we don't cross that bridge okay. fidelity bank has appointed julian kinsley opuni as its new managing director effective december 1 2018 kinsley opuni has been the deputy managing director since november 2017 and will take over from jim baden who retired as md of the bank in october this year Experienced banker who started his banking career over 20 years ago, Kingsley Opuni brings to the role his rich industry experience, having served as the head of commercial banking and divisional director of retail banking of Fidelity Bank Ghana. He is an associate of the Institute of Financial Services and holds a BSc in Banking and Financial Services from the University of Manchester Institute of Science and Technology. Kingsley Opuni is also an accredited specialist in manufacturing, legal and property lending. Commenting on the appointment, Chairman of Fidelity Bank Group, Edward Afa, said, quote, We are excited that the appointment is taking place at a time when the banking industry is going through very positive restructuring and Kingsley Opuni's experience will help propel Fidelity Bank to the next level. End quote. Prior to joining Fidelity Bank, Kingsley Opuni had a successful career with Lloyds Bank in the UK where he worked for over 18 years. And in about 20 minutes, we'll bring you more of the day's uh, business stories on the marketplace. Joining me in the studio is the host, Emmanuel Abouadjiriafe, with what to expect. Hey, Daryl. What, what was our big story for this afternoon? Right, so the, our big story is that the Car Rentals Association of mm. Ghana, uh, they are calling for a waiver of taxes imposed on luxury vehicles, so, so, so to speak. Um, if you could remember, in July this year, the finance minister imposed a levy on luxury taxes. Mm. The car rentals organization or association is saying that this has become inimical to their business and they are calling for a waiver. We'll do more on that. Analysis. All right, so be sure to join uh, Emmanuel Abuajiri Afe at the top of the hour for the marketplace. That'll be it for business. We've got some interesting sports news coming up. 
we understand that Thomas Partey is out of the 10-man shortlist for the CAP Awards. That's with Baba Tando after this break. Thank you.